I paid $42,500 for my 2014 Shelby GT500. Do a little story time now. So two weeks ago, two and a half, three weeks ago, time flies, I'm not entirely sure, but I sold Sally, uh, $25,000. I showed you guys and I had the money. Right away, I was doing the full selling process. There was a lot of things to do for selling a car in the California and I wanted to do it right. I never sold a car, got that complete. So right after I sold the car, I immediately went shopping. Initially, I did want the 2007 to 2009 Shelby GT500, the 5.4 liter in the 05 to 09 body S197 style. They go for 25,000, in between 25 to 30,000, but I kind of wanted to take a risk. I wanted to take it to the next level, and that's when I started searching for the 5.8 liter this time, which is only 2013 to 2014. I didn't really want to keep with the 5.4, which does go all the way up to 2012. 12. I didn't really like it. They were going for $30,000, $35,000, but the 5.4 liter, I could have gone for $25,000. So I was just like, screw it. I'm going to take a risk here and do the 5.8 liter. Dude, 675 horsepower. 550. Oh, yeah, no, it's 675. Yeah, it's almost 700. That's I mean, to the wheels, what is like 620? This might be one of the ones that's on this is exactly the one I saw online. And I also was going to take into consideration a Z06 Corvette, which my buddy Joe was trying to uh, get me to get. Joe's going to try to convince me to be a Chevy guy. He's trying to convince me to get a Corvette, so we're going to test out the water, see how it goes. Definitely open to new builds, so <laughs> this baby's a beauty. Yeah, Really? Um, I didn't really want the 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 Z06, even though the um, C6 Z06, I would have canned it and all that good stuff. But I wanted to stay with the Mustang, so uh, the. So the Z06 was out of the option. If I was to get a Corvette, I would want a 2015 to newer, but those are expensive. The base models go for like $40,000 and the Z06s go for like $60,000. So I didn't want to make that big of an investment. So I was just like, screw it. I'm going to stick with the Shelby GT500. My buddy, uh my buddy top notch jay-z he used to be a three valve owner i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have uh seen his videos he drifted the three valve then he got a shelby gt500 i think in 2007 and now he has a supra a 2jz so it's pretty sick go check out his channel i'm um, on instagram i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know about him but uh he posted a video on his instagram story about this white shelby gt500 i'll show you guys right here And so after he posted that video, I DM'd him $39,000 for a 2013 Shelby GT500 with 20,000 miles on it. I was just like, heck yeah, I loved it. Let's go for it. It had everything on it uh, stock. I really wanted to get a stock GT500 so I could build it here with you guys. You know how, how much I love building a car. So I was just like DM'd him and I really want to check out that car. Um, but that same night, he actually texted me saying that he has another Shelby GT500 for $41,000, which is Miley right here that I'm sitting in. It, I fell in love at first sight. It was canned as long as we're going to talk about the the mods very very soon. However, 
Uh, I hit him up. Uh, I was just like, heck yeah, $41,000 for all of that. And it's in black, which is the car I want, the color I wanted. I was just like, I'm going to go with that. So I check it out. Everything is good. I'll show you guys the video. He was initially selling it, selling it for $45,000. Um, we came up to agreement at $42,500 and that's how much I got it for. We are gonna go ahead and talk about insurance and taxes and everything else that I paid for it. So stay tuned with this video. But as of right now, I wanna show you guys what I got for the $42,500 because it was a great price. For $3,000 more, I had $10,000 in mods. Again, like I said previously, the 2013 Shelby GT500 at $39,000 with 20,000 miles. That was a great price, but for this, at forty one at forty two thousand five hundred is even a better deal. What this has equipped, which I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys everything that is on it. So inside of this five point eight liter, we do have the L and M NSR cams with the ATI 10% overdrive balancer. And this car is cammed, and uh, the only thing it doesn't have is the block, which if I were to build this motor, I would have to do something with the block. I haven't done so much research, but that's what I would have to do if I wanted to bump this up to 1,000 wheel horsepower. Uh, right now it's at 850, but um, I mean, as of right now, I'm, I'm sitting in between the Super Snake and the Shelby 1000 which is pretty, pretty good deal. But I, I mean, I would love to get the power of a Shelby 1000 eventually, but that would have to do some building. But this does come equipped with 850 wheel horsepower, 1000 crank horsepower. And then we also have the McLeod RXT twin clutch. That clutch is so light, I love it. Inside, we also do have the MGW shifter. I showed you guys that previously. We do have the American Racing long tube headers with the X-pipe and what I love, well, I mean, I don't really love these, but they sound good at wide open throttle, the Corsa cat back. So at idle, it's, it's all right. It's not my favorite axle back. I thought it was gonna be a little bit better, but this still sounds beautiful. And then we also have the ID 1300 injectors. We have the Kenny Bell Booster Pump, which is what I had on Sally, but this is a dual Booster Pump, not a single one. Previously, I had a single, which was got the job done, but with this much power, you have to get the dual one. So we also have the Shaker 1000 in here and the dual Kenny Bell Boost Pump, which is listed right there. And then also what I love so much is the JLT painted red, which is so gnarly. I love it how they painted it. Cold air intake right here for that. And then we also have the Whipple 68 millimeter throttle body. And all of this is tuned with an SCT X4 tuner like I had on Sally previously. It's one of the best tuners available. And it is tuned by Palm Beach Dino, which I do need to work on a little bit because the cold starts, as you guys witness, is pretty atrocious. But yeah, here is the Bama. X4 tuner, which is not, of course, family, but the SCT X4 tuner is what we have equipped. So all of these mods do go up to about around $10,000, including labor. I mean, the long tubes and cams itself, that's just a huge one. And I know I really wanted to do it myself. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do the cams probably, but the long tubes would have been manageable. But to have that already installed and for only $3,000 extra, this was a better investment than that white GT500 that was completely stock. Even though it would have been fun to build it, this is only the beginning. There's so much that I could do to this motor as well as the exterior and suspension, which it does have the track pack with the NT555, my favorite, my favorite street tires. Now that I'm looking at it, these are just the normal NT555 G2s. They are 265, I believe. Yeah, 265 by 40 sitting on 19 wheels, which these wheels are just gorgeous. And then in the back, we have the NT555 radials, which is still my favorite, but in the radial form. These are 305s, uh, 35 sitting on 20 inch rims. So super nice. These are incredible. When I was doing the wide open throttle pulls on my previous videos, they actually stuck pretty good once when I warmed them up. So. That's everything we have here. We do have some issues with the car, the cold start, as well as I had a really bad supercharger radiator leak or this, this reservoir was leaking, but I fixed it with a, initially, a twisty tie or a zip tie. 
and then I moved over to the clamp as you guys could see there so my first repair actually got resolved for with the zip tie at first but then moved on to the clamp so that's basically everything that we got here so we got the $42,500 out the door uh, kind of for sales, taxes, registration, license, smog, I paid $3,000 extra for that. Um, I did put $7,000 or $10,000 down, um, which I'm thinking about refinancing. Eventually, I just wanted to put some type of deal. So I'm sitting at a loan for $35,000 over, I think, 84 months, which is was, I, I'm gonna refinance. If you guys have any opinions or thoughts or how to best finance for me comment down below let me know but as of right now I put ten thousand dollars down I do have the extra fifteen thousand dollars to refinance it to do mods do anything I want but as of right now I am paying five hundred dollars a month for this car and then two hundred dollars for insurance a month which is a steal I do want to go ahead and give a big shout out to my insurance hookup on Instagram for all you guys out there that want the hookup on insurance and for me being only 23 years old and not having a big history of you know car owning driving and stuff like that they actually hooked it up normally this insurance for this car would be around five hundred dollars which is insane i was getting quoted like five to seven hundred dollars on some insurance but if you go on instagram go to team sickness right here message them and uh, let them know they will provide you with the quote and i got two hundred dollars for insurance which is amazing at this for taking into consideration the caliber of car as well as my history and all that so got super lucky go hit them up uh, for the insurance and uh, all that good stuff so with that being said that is how much i paid for my car how much insurance was what's on the mod what i paid for it and the journey going to getting this ride so i hope you guys enjoyed everything we have a lot more to come comment down below what you guys want to see in videos to come because we are going to tear it up with the new shelby gt500 miley is ready she's ready to tear it up and i hope you guys are she's dirty i'm gonna wash her don't you worry but um this is just the beginning and I can't wait to get started.